What is Animoto? Animoto is a really cool video creation tool. You can use photos from their library, upload your own photos, include video clips, and use music. The really cool thing about Animoto is it uses something called cinematic artificial intelligence. And what that means is it times the photos and the videos with the music. You use templates that are created by Animoto and just drop in the items you want to include. The founders of Animoto are former TV producers from places like MTV, VH1, ESPN. So they know how to produce slick videos and they have created this tool that allows you to do the same. The pros of Animoto are the interface is super simple to use. You can even do this with kindergartners. I would suggest doing it in a group and not as individuals, but I have used Animoto with kindergartners and I've used Animoto with college students. So it's great for all ages. It is free for educators. There is a free place. It is limited doesn't have as many options in terms of themes that you can use, but it is still free. You get a great quality video. It looks really, really professional. And if you're short on time, it's really awesome because as an adult, it once you know how to use Animoto, you can put a really good looking video together if you know where all your media is in a matter of minutes. It also comes with its own music library that you don't have to worry about copyright because they have paid to allow people to use the music and that's a bonus. The cons of Animoto are it's not very flexible. So if you're looking something where you can make a lot of changes to it, that's not Animoto. Animoto uses templates and you put in your information into the template. So there's not a lot of editing of the templates at all. Copyright issues. If you're using images from other places and you're just searching the web, you have to make sure it is an image that is not copyrighted and you're allowed to use it. The same thing with the music library is depending on what kind of account you have, you do have a limited choice of background music. So if you're looking for something super spruce or super specific or you have a specific song in mind, Animoto is not really going to help you because you're using the music library. Another thing is awareness of what you are sharing because depending how you share the Animoto, Animotos are, can be public and for everyone to see on the web. So as with anything that you do with students, if students are creating something and they're going to be shared up on the web, personal information should not be included of any kind. If you want to use kids' images, shouldn't have names associated with the kids. I say not even first names. So there should be no personal information for the safety of your students. There are examples of Animoto for you to view and let's take a look at a few so you can see how cool Animoto is. an example of an Animoto that a teacher used to start a new unit for students. You will have the opportunity to look at more examples from that page, but you can see how it times the music with the images. You don't have to do anything. The zooming in and zooming out is part of the template features. So basically you're dropping in your images 
and if you're wanting to add text, adding your text, and Animoto does the rest. Here are the different resources that you will be needing to complete your assignments for Animoto. They are also listed on the links for Session 4 Animoto and a document that is in the folder where you found the link to this tutorial, this video. The four links are the link you need to use for Animoto account for educators, the trial version sign up, which if you use this link, it will take you to the trial version sign up. If you need help with sign up, signing up and creation, here's a basic one. Here's a more in-depth one of how to create an Animoto video and some Animoto integration ideas. Let's take the first link is an important one. It takes you to Animoto for Education, where you can get the unlimited free videos for educators. You're allowed to apply for a free plus account that we can use in the classroom. So if you want to see what the features are, it's the plus account. Make sure you hit apply now here, because you'll notice if you want to look up here, it does say education. So you're applying for an education account. If you're a new user, you simply hit sign up. And they're talking about the, the pro. So you do not have to pay for any of this. Okay? These are the pricing, but you're going to get a free one. So you click start trial and it says it's a free trial but what happens is when you go to sign up use a school email and if it's asking you what you're making your videos for you go for education you will get an email once you hit start trial from Animoto saying you are approved for an education account so that's what you want to look for the next link just takes you to start trial Make sure it says education up in here if you are going from the starting trial and not from the original page I showed you. The next link is creating your verse Animoto video. It is to a blog. You can read through this if you need help with your sign up. It even tells you about registering for a free account and how to go through the sign up. It then gives you written instructions for how to create your Animoto and you can read through them. The next link has a video about the video creation process. It says a video tutorial and guide. So you can take a look. Here's the video. Then there's more explanations about how to use Animoto. So these are quote unquote advanced features if you're interested and it talks more about the libraries. You also have a link to Animoto examples, six videos to use in your classroom and it gives you some idea of what you could do with the videos as a teacher or as a student. And if you're interested to see what other people have done with Animoto, just Google Animoto examples, the topic you're looking for, the grade level, and you will find many many examples out there. The last link is from Education World and it talks about Animoto activity ideas in your classroom. So if you need to get started and you're wondering what you want to do with it and you really like it, you can read through this as well. I love Animoto. I hope you like it too.